Welcome back to Lego by the Book. Today I'm going to be building set something. Set, set, set. 6973, the Deep Freeze Defender. This is a set that I have wanted for a very long time. I was a huge fan of Ice Planet back in like, I think it came out when I was in fourth grade, uh, and I had a bunch of it. And uh, I had the base, I had most of the little sets. This was the one set I didn't have, but I had a friend who did have it. I think it was the only one that he did have. So. Um, this was sent to me by Daniel Dillman, who has sent me an absolutely amazing amount of happiness, and this was not one that I ever imagined I would end up with, so this is going to be a pretty cool build. I am, I am really excited to build this one. So let's go. Original instructions, parts all bagged by color. What's going on here? Extras? Jury is out. Who knows? We'll find out today. That's that. There's a Technic pin in a bag. <laughs> okay. Well. the little little skis and the little saws I always thought was just cool. Oh, and some blue. There's the white parts. I may put the black parts somewhere else. So I'm running out of room in that box. I'll we'll put them right here. Alright. Let's get started. I imagine we start, indeed, with the minis. There we have our three minis. We have our old looking, or at least He's got a mustache. Leader, he had a different torso, and then we had two characters with exact same torsos, only difference was their head. And I had quite a few of this one, just white hair, which is neat. And then we have, I think she may have been the first female character in the space line. I could be wrong, but I'm relatively certain that she is, and she's redhead. Same torso but just different head. She appears to have earrings uh, in space, which uh, that seems weird, but at least <laughs> they finally made a female character for the space line. And I, I think she only came in this set. She, there might have been one in the base, but I, I don't, I seem to, I don't think there was, because I don't think I had her growing up. All right, here we go. Let's start building this set. We start with a little mini vehicle, which is neat. We appear to have the commander's runabout? Hovercraft? No, no. It doesn't have little skis on it like a lot of this stuff does. Uh, it does have, uh, well, when I say it doesn't have skis, it doesn't have the, the bottoms. You'll see what I mean later. Uh, it does have the little minifig skis uh, and a magnet thing on the side. I'm really curious what that's about. Oh, okay, I think I see. We'll, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, neat little vehicle. Now we build. I didn't know there was a rocket in this set, but we gonna build one, so... Apparently there was. We have a rocket, which I'm relatively certain was for putting satellites in space, which we will see again later. It was certainly not an intercontinental ballistic missile. Um, but we do have the, there's the magnet. So apparently this is for transporting the rocket. I don't make the rules. But we have a rocket. Alright, 
Now we build a thing. And there was the first, it appears to be the cockpit. Interesting that it has skis on the bottom, but then it has the little flat nub things, which actually prevent the skis from making contact. Um, it does have skis for the pilots, for the minifigs on the inside, so they will have enough. Incredibly good condition. No scuff marks. Mine are all, if I have those, they're scuffed to the point of not being opening. There also was a little... I don't know what that's supposed to be on the side, but it's there. Oh, wait, that's what it's for. Because there's a saw blade on the other side. So, oh, both minis have their saw blade and their saw and their skis on the outside, should they need them. Now we need to build another one of that exact thing, because there's two. Which is neat. And there's the second one. Exactly like the first. Neat. Yeah. That ski keeps falling off just like it is on the first one. Alright, now we build the next bit. We have found, we've built the midsection. And uh, there's some neat stuff going on here. I assume we assemble it all when we get to the end and I'm looking forward to that because uh, that's going to be pretty neat. All right, now we build the last section, the back section. Also train. Alright, I have finished the back part. You may have noticed there was some confusion. Uh, I ended up with some spare parts I couldn't account for. Two one by two blue bricks. There were two one by two white bricks, and I was able to figure out where they went. But I cannot figure out where these two blue ones are supposed to go, or if they're even supposed to be in here at all. There are two spare of the clear saws, the translucent orange saws, so... Maybe they're just spare parts. I don't, I don't know. But uh, yeah, here we have this. Uh, it does have niche features. These two things on the top lift up, and then the uh, the garage door pulls in. And I'm reasonably certain this attaches to there. Yeah, yeah. When you pull the garage door, it lifts him up for launch. Wow, that is really cool. I did not know that it did that in there. That is that is nifty. And then we have yeah, spiky bits and clear translucent bits and it's kind of like the the again the the base part of the ship that comes off and you get left behind. Um, but 
it all connects together, as was very much the feature with many of these older space sets. Uh, it all sockets together using pegs, and these come down to lock that into place. And then our two cockpit modules attach on either side. This little ship goes into here. That is such a cool feature. And then in the middle section we have the rocket bay. And that's what that one gray Technic peg was for, is it attaches to there, so it lifts up and then launches. Very cool. And then I was supposed to build a little satellite at the beginning. Pretty much all these sets had one of these little Little satellites, which is apparently what these guys are about, is launching satellites into orbit around this ice planet. And it has a little spot where it attaches right here, apparently. Right in the middle there. You could also attach it directly to the front of the rocket, which is where it would, it would go. And then when the rocket comes up, launch the satellite. Neat. Now, being modular, of course, you can take those sections off, and this can pop free, and you can connect one of the cockpits directly to that and fly it as that way, and I assume you can do the same thing here. Sure enough, you can connect the other cockpit just to that and have two vehicles. Very, very cool. That is, that is just neat now. Ah! Oh no! I tore the cockpit apart. Let's try that again. Um, I don't know that they would connect to any of the other sets. They, I, I don't know that there were any other Ice Planet sets that were modular like this one was, nor do I have any idea if the modular the modular system on this one is compatible with any of the other lines? A lot of the lines had that, that pop-off feature, but the way the things were secured and the way they lined up were often different. We can put our last two minis in their meh in the cockpits. They do fit nicely. Very, very cool. That is just a neat set and one that, yeah, I wanted it as a kid, uh, but it just it never, never became a part of my collection until now. And I don't think I ever got it in any of my collection acquisitions because uh, it has four of these weird parts in blue and I didn't have any. Um, so I'm pretty sure I didn't have this one. There's also some fairly unique a couple of unique parts. These, this, this panel here uh, is actually printed. It's not a sticker. And I'm pretty sure that was unique to this. Uh, I don't know about the garage door in that translucent orange. That may have been unique to here. And it's entirely possible that these cockpits in this color were unique. Uh, but uh, yeah, really cool set. So thank you, Daniel, once again for sending me. This, I, I cannot, I, I still don't have any idea where he's getting all this vintage stuff, it, it, it baffles me. Um, so, oh, it's just neat. That coming up in the back, that is probably one of my favorite features. And then, magnet. Presumably for retrieving the rocket after it has fired the satellite up into space, it falls back down and then he can retrieve it and bring it back. I assume it's a multi-use rocket, very economical, because scientists. Ah, no. That. That is cool. Alright. I have blathered enough. Again, my thanks. This is cool. I will have to go through and build all of the Ice Planet stuff, because I always did like them. I am going to have to rearrange my entire vintage collection. I need to move the castles somewhere else. I'll have to find somewhere else to store my vintage castles uh, so that I can expand the the space. Um, I then may go through and build all of the bases because I do have the original Blacktron base 
the original um, Space Police base. I have at least one of the original Space Stations uh, for the regular guys. I I doubt the, oh, the monorails would just take up way too much space to set up. Um, I don't know that I have the second Blacktron base. I might. Uh, and I know I've got the Spireus base. So... I think I have a couple of the Spireus bases. Uh, I could build a Spireus robot. There was some cool stuff in Spireus. I think I had all of Spireus. I'm not sure of that, but I think I did. Um, and I had the Ice Planet base. So... Um, if I move the castles to somewhere else, maybe underneath my castle table, just create another shelf there and just have all the castles around the base there. Um, I would then expand the, the space to include the bases and a few more of the, uh, obviously all of this line and either the Spireus line or add the uh, more of the original classic because there's so much old classic space. Um, there are a few, I think there's one Mtron ship I don't have yet, and I think there's one original Space Police I might not have yet. Um, there's one, I think I've got all of the second generation Space Police. Anyway, I'll need to expand stuff, so I will talk about that in um, the video when I do the tour of the Lego Room. Alright, thank you guys for watching.